Good evening, and uh, just a, a quick video. Um, I've been buying from China again, and uh, what I've got here is a USB output socket um, that's designed to take anything up to 24 volts in um, and convert it to a nice 5 volt dual socket at uh, 2.1 amps per socket. So I thought, right, okay, before I uh, go ahead and fit this into my car, um, I'd try it out. So what I've done, uh, as I say, at the moment I've got the power supply set to 28 volts, which is higher than the car voltage because uh, there is a chance I will be fitting it into uh, one of the vehicles at work. So I wanted to have a you know something that would the work would work on a lorry. Um, so hence the reason for going for the higher voltage uh, and also when you're actually uh, driving along with the engine revving um, your car or lorry actually puts out sort of three or four volts more than the battery voltage so in the case of a car um, I've seen it go as high as sort of 16 volts while you're driving um, it, it normally averages about 14, 14 and a half but different cars, different alternators and um, with the lorry again I've seen it up at about 28, 29 volts instead of being 24 so uh, in this case I'm running this at uh, as I say nearly 29 volts um, to test it what I've got here is I've got a standard um, uh, variable load um, which uh, is also wired in uh, or connected into this uh, voltage meter so the easiest thing for me to do I suppose is to plug it in and uh, hopefully you can see what's going on so let's plug that in and um, let's see if I can get it up towards the screen and in focus is it going to focus on that there we go so as you see uh, the bottom figure here is the current so it's it's actually pulling two and a bit amps and uh, I've got an output voltage of 4.99 volts which is close to 5 as you're going to get um, and it's, it seems to be quite happily drawing that uh, almost 2.1 amps which is what it's rated at now let's see if I can increase that load uh, and I can and the socket seems to be coping reasonably well two and a half amps so yeah um, there is current there the fan I can feel has just come on on the load as you can just see in the corner here so let's, um, let's bring that back down the voltage as you see had dropped Let's bring it back down to the 2.1 amp level. And the voltage should... There you go, 2.1 as near as. I'm just holding it in a position that you can see it. Um, and that's with a 29 volt input. Now I'm going to drop the input voltage just to see that it maintains... Right, so that's down to 16 volts now. And that's 13 volts. And just to see if it flattens your battery. Right, it's not happy at 10 volts. But 11 volts, yeah, 11 volts is the lowest it will run at. So it, it is actually still putting out the 2.1 amps quite happily. Um, now let's just check put my hands on this bit doesn't seem to be getting warm certainly not what I would consider excessively warm so as a, a little USB socket um, yeah I think I'd be quite happy to put that in my car and uh, run my phone off that or my um, sat nav or my uh, dash cam because I haven't wired it in properly yet um, let's just focus back in on the bench 
um, in the bag. I'll just leave that on there and it'll leave it cooking away. It does come with the, the ring cover that just uh, covers it up so that you can see that it's a USB socket. If you need sort of waterproofing, um, for example, on a, a boat or something like that, there's the, uh, the plastic locking ring, which um, I would imagine if you over tightened it, it would quite easily crack. So that's something you're going to have to be aware of. And uh, it comes with a couple of uh, spade connectors. So, um, yeah, as a little add-on socket kit. Um, yeah, it's getting warm, but uh, again, not what I would consider excessive. Um, the load is certainly a lot warmer. Um, as you see, it's, it's still four and a bit volts, 4.995 4 volts, yeah. So it, it's... Um, still within spec and um, yeah I'm happy with that. Thanks very much for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you for the next video. Bye bye for now.